Hey guys, so just starting off here, um, I did have a few requests to make some heart stencils to match up with my previous tutorial. So I did go ahead and make one. They come in three sizes and they are available in my Etsy shop. Um, I will be using this set of tools today. This is my set of dowels that I have also available in my Etsy shop. It is a complete 16 piece set with the largest being um, one inch in diameter. It's perfect for those large dots that's kind of hard to get. And they are color coded and they are what I use in my tutorials. So they're perfect for you to follow along with me. And today's project, we are going to be painting on a seven inch in diameter wood circle. And you can find these at Walmart for right around a buck. I like to use a nice wide brush to apply my base coat. Now I am using black, a matte black, but you could absolutely use any color that you like. Um, and you definitely want this to be nice and dry before you move forward with the painting. All right, here is my 16 slice stencil, and this is a six inch in size. These are also available in my Etsy shop, and they just make nice quick work of um, making your guidelines. So instead of getting out a ruler, um, you can just lay one down and they've got the lines all marked off for you. And they are reusable so you can get to your painting a lot quicker. So they are just wonderful. Um, this is my Helix compass and I've just put in some um, slate chalk in there and I'm going to just draw some concentric circles and no particular um, spacing or anything. I'm just kind of eyeballing it and just throwing some on some, you know, right next to each other and, and some a little spaced out. But And it doesn't matter too, too much. Um, you just want to have enough on there. Um, you know, that you can find and use for your guidelines. So it's just a matter of um, helping you guide your dots and keeping them in a nice row for your rings. And then I just wanted to show, I went, you know, it got a little loose and went a little off track. So um, very easily removable with a damp um, cotton swab. And now I'm going to lay my uh, 16 slice stencil back down and I'm just going to draw on eight guidelines. You can do 16 if you want. I just did eight. Um, and then I wanted to show you, I left this in the video because um, I started off with trying to use some Americana um, satin, multi-surface satin paint. And it's just too thin for using on wood. And you can see how you can see how the dot is just it's sloppy you know it's not very um, it's not it's not holding its shape so anyway I decided to go with a thicker paint so I took this off with again just some damp cotton swabs no biggie I didn't want to ruin all my guidelines um, so now I've switched over to some thicker paints multi-surface and enamels that's just what I prefer to use on wood pieces um, and I do thin these out a little bit with some gloss fluid medium from Liquitex and I'm going with a warmer palette. Um, you can buy a little palette for yourself at um, Walmart, sometimes the dollar store and stuff like that. Uh, very cheap, very inexpensive, and extremely useful. So I'm going to pour a little bit of each color in there. And then here I'm mixing um, some pink and some orange because I wanted a light peach, a really light peach color. So that's what I'm doing. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my... Um, my medium and just kind of mix them all up it just kind of loosens it up instead of it being all tight and, and held together it just kind of loosens it all up so just mix each one and clean your your little uh, your palette knife real good in between or whatever you're using so here now you'll see um, again I'm gonna start with my red tool and now you'll see how this dot really holds its shape on that wood you know it doesn't go down in the grains and get all weird and um, so I do prefer a thicker paint for wood pieces. Now I did want to knock down that center spike, so I just kind of swirl it out with one of my nail styluses. And so I'm going to go with uh, the lighter orange color for the first row of dots around the center dot. Now feel free to pause this at any point, that way you can catch up with me. 
And I'm just going to put one dot on each of the eight spokes that I've got drawn on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw a dot right in between each of those. So there's going to be a total of 16 dots around the center dot. And that was with my largest nail stylus, which I call a size 5. Um, I just numbered them myself. Now this is one of my smaller tools from my donning set. This is the white tool. And I'm going to go with the pink color. And I'm going to put a dot right in between on the outer edge of each of that first row of dots there. So you kind of just um, offset them with your second layer. And then um, I've got, I really wanted a really light yellow, so I've got some white, some blank white. And you really want to add just a little tiny bit of color to the white. So instead of putting, adding white into your color, just add a little bit of color into your white if you want something very pale. I can't even tell you how many times I have um, added white and kept adding white to, you know, to a color to try to get it you know, a really light tint that I was looking for. And I'd wind up having a whole bunch of, of this paint that I really couldn't even use up. So I just figured that, you know, it's definitely a better way to start with the white and then just add a little bit of color. Um, now I will list all of the uh, paints in the video description below for you as well. Um, now I did just mix in um, some pink and some red together. It's Paradise Pink and Lipstick Red, and um, I just wanted to get more of a, a corally color, so a darker pink for the next row. And again, we're just going to be doing the same thing. You just kind of offset your dots, stick them right in between two of the previous dots, right on the outer edge, and that's pretty much all you have to do here. This is with my silver tool. And that's it for the next row. Now I'm going to go with this size 4, what I've you know, named as a size 4, for um, some dots. We're going to have a little bit of a, a lacy look going on here. And I start on in the center of the outer edge of the larger dot there, the larger pink dots. And I'm going with straight white. And you just want to dot hugging the larger pink dot there all the way down to the base of one side. And then re-dip your tool. And then redot the first initial dot, the large, you know, initial dot that you did, and then dot all the way down the other side. And that just keeps it nice and even. All right. And now I'm going to go with my light purple tool, and I'm going to go with the um, outrageous orange. And I'm just going to put a dot right down in between those little bridges, those little lace bridges there right in the little divot. So they'll be on the lines, on the guidelines, and then right in between the guidelines. And do that all the way around for your next row there. And then I want to fill in the space in between those. Um, so I'm using a smaller tool, and it's my white tool. And that just kind of helps fill in that space without overcrowding it. Okay, moving on to my pink tool with the red paint. I love this lipstick red. It's so vibrant and beautiful. I love it so much. Um, and then I found that I could put about five dots in each little section there. So that's just something to keep in mind as you go along here. Um, go ahead and dot right next to each other all the way around. You can pause this uh, and go ahead and catch up with me. And then I'm going with the um, yellow light, and I'm going with a smaller tool. This is a size 2. And I just want to put a dot in between each of the red dots there on the inside and the outside. It has a little bit of a yellow pop, which is nice. Okay, I'm going with the peach color that I made. And I'm using my blue tool, and I'm going to go ahead and put a dot on each of the eight guidelines. And I'm just kind of eyeballing here. Um, again, I didn't want to overcrowd it, so I just put two in between each of those little sections there. 
So go ahead and get first get you know all eight spokes, a dot on all eight spokes, and then go back and put two dots in between each of those. And I just shift my paint around with the edge of my tool if it looks like it needs a little extra in the middle. All right, going back with straight white, and this is that small size two tool. Uh, nail stylus dotting tool. Now these dots do get smaller on their own um, with this particular tool. They don't do it with the flat uh, jowls or, or uh, crochet hooks, but with this particular nail stylus dotting tool, um, they just will gradually get smaller. But then you do want to redip before you start going down the other side. So dip your paint, start in the center on the outer edge, Dot all the way down one side, redip your dotting tool, redot that same first initial dot, and then dot all the way down the other side. All right, for the next row, I'm going to be using my pink tool, and I'm using the Paradise Pink Paint, and I'm just going to be dotting right next to each other all the way around. Now, to clean your tool, you just want to use um, a very lightly damp rag and just wipe it clean. It should come clean um, nice and easy for you. All right, for the next row there, I'm going to use my dark blue tool. And I'm just going to be putting dots right next to each other all the way around with the uh, darker pink color that I had mixed with a little bit of red, the paradise pink and the lipstick red. And then for the next row, it's my silver tool. And I'm going to go with that really light yellow, uh, just like that we used there in the beginning. Just kind of like to repeat my colors at least once if I can. And then after this, um, I'm going to let this piece dry. You want to make sure it's really good and dry before you try to top dot. Um, doing top dots adds a, just a completely different look and a, and a different dimension to the piece. So I do love to do top dots. Um, I am going to fill in that little space between the little lace bridges on the second row of, um, of large peach dots there. And I'm going to fill it in with the lighter orange, which is called nectarine. And I'm using my very smallest tool, which is the black tool. Now, you didn't see, but this has completely fully dried um, in between this. And now this is the top dot time. So I'm using my dark blue tool. And I'm just going to go with the lighter orange. So I'm putting the nectarine color paint on top of the outrageous orange paint. And I just used a smaller tool. So you have a little bit of a ring of darker paint in between. Um, or around uh, the lighter pink that I put in the middle there. Same with the pink. I'm doing a top dot of a lighter pink on top of the row of pink dots. And then here I switched it up and because I use the really light uh, peach tint, I am going to put a slightly darker orange on those dots. And that is with my silver tool. And that is it folks. Let that dry really good. Make sure you don't forget to take off your guidelines and then go ahead and spray it with a varnish. And this is a perfect gift of handmade art. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. I've got tons of videos that you could check out on Dot Mandala Painting. Thanks again so much for watching. See you next time.